Welcome to another dish edition of Joe's Record Store. From the uh, DVDs, I decided to pull out a special band that's uh, really a milestone in the history of uh, the development of extreme metal as we know it. Death metal, thrash metal, black metal. Insert extreme uh, subgenre here. You got to trace it back to these guys, Venom. Um, way back when, um, they were the uh, metal band that people love to hate. Either you know you thought they were just great, you know, and massive, or you just thought they were just bloody awful. And um, it's not. I don't really have any albums of them at all. I um, mean, you know, if I did want to hear something from them, I guess I look it up on YouTube. But uh, sorry, Kronos. But uh, I did get um, I do get DVDs of bands that you know I do think you know are a big part of metal history, in as far as you know as we know it today. And um, these guys came out during the uh, new wave of British heavy metal, you know, from '79 to '81. You know, they were one of the bands that didn't fall by the wayside because uh, you know they had their own you know their own shtick their own characteristic and um, Venom was uh, probably the first in your face hail Satan band to use blatant satanic imagery I mean you know way back when you know when I was a kid if if you even you know played a Venom record it's like you were a lost soul you were far gone I mean at the time you know they were like a really diabolically scary band and you know when I listen to it now in retrospect it, it's pretty comical you know like a really bad Halloween uh, prank or something but uh but you know Venom you know back in the 80s they in you know during that era um, they were you know a really th really threatening band and you know and you know Merciful Fate you know came out about you know the same time you know the blatant uh, you know satanic imagery and lyrics and it was just more for shock value it's more like you know a big uh, you know middle finger to uh, you know ma the mainstream of of the mu music society and you know people in general it's like yeah this is us this is how we are uh, if you like it fine you know if you don't like our music well piss off go get something else and uh which is you know best stated in their in their song uh, too loud for the crowd which they open the set with on this one and this is from the live in london series you know back in the in the um Mid '80s, they were doing a concert series of you know the heavy metal bands that were happening at the time, and he's playing in front of the good old Union Jack. Cause you know, again, they are British bands, and uh, you know a lot of the original heavy metal acts you know came from Britain, and the Americans uh, you know picked up on it later and you know put their own uh, angle on it. Um, and there's Kronos with the bass. Um, yeah, um, musically, when you listen to their albums and their concerts, I mean, they were really noisy. It was kind of you know chaotic, you know, almost like a punk band in some in some sense. Um, and again, you know, use you know the dark imagery. Countess Bathory, if you know history, she was the Hungarian countess that bathed in the blood of maidens she killed. Black metal. They are the original black metal bands. I mean, even you know modern black metal bands now. You know they they would they give props to these guys. I mean, power metal, thrash metal, and you know it was before the thrash metal wave started later in the in the 80s. You know, guys like you know Metallica, Slayer, um, Testament, Exodus. They were fans of these guys. You know, when they were still a bunch of you know nobodies running around you know the West Coast. You know, like the Bay Area in LA. Um, and, um, I mean, for, you know, basically, you know, they were, you know, part of the British metal wave, but, you know, they were part of that. Uh, that so that genre they made you know another style all their own and you know people capitalized on that i mean if you were a, if you were into venom it's like again you know you were like a lost child to darkness you know something was wrong with you you know come back to the light and um again you know um either you know they love venom or they hated them and you know 
they're pretty noisy, you know, really raw, noisy sound. And uh, eventually, you know, bands later like Metallica and uh, uh, Exodus, the other, the thrash metal bands that came later, you know, they took that raw, loud noisiness of Venom, they refined it a bit, and then, you know, that's how we got, you know, thrash metal as uh, we know it. And, um... It probably don't sound so heavy now, but you know, for the early to mid '80s, I mean, they were just outrageous, extreme. It was kind of like, uh, if you can imagine, you know, just a Motorhead, but you know, just a little bit heavier version of Motorhead. This was Venom. Uh, this is another DVD I bought um, online because I was bored and I was deployed. Uh, Venom, Metal City, and it's not. Um, the cover, you know, it'd make you think that it's all about Venom. Yeah, they are the main band featured, but uh, it's really a present. It was originally a VHS release way back when. By uh, it was put out by Neat Records, you know, which was you know the uh, you know very big label in putting out the original uh, British metal wave bands, you know, during the early '80s. You know, and Kronos, you know, had a lot to do with pushing bands behind the scenes too, because you know that was back when. Come on, who wants to listen to that crap? On um, you know, definitely, it made more impact in Europe before it really hit the states. So you know, that's how you know Germany started to you know really be way ahead of the game in metal. The Netherlands, Belgium, you know, they actually they had more success in mainland Europe than they did you know in their own native UK. And because uh, really, Phantom's not the only band in here. So you know, it started you know, this has a few tracks. So. They are the main main showpiece, but other bands are featured, like um, kind of you know power speed metal band Warfare. Uh, the drummer does the vocals. They're a three piece Saracen. You know they were out during the new wave of British heavy metal, but uh, I guess you know they like they just really sounds like really weak, typical '80s commercial rock. So I don't fancy them, but I guess you know because they were from the you know metal wave like Def Leppard, you know, they still got, you know, put in the category, but a Saracen is just the least metal sounding band here. Um, a really good ba British band, Avenger, they're kind of like another Iron Maiden, um, with, uh, but, you know, the typical British heavy metal sound, very melodic, um, uh, Another Saracen, Love on Sight. The Saracen is really the band I like least on this. And it's just che cheesy, keyboard-laden 80s rock. I wouldn't even consider it heavy metal. It's just rock. You know, Warfare, Rape, Venom, you know, their last video is kind of like a mini horror movie, Nightmare. Witching Hours, you know, it's like, these two are like performance pieces, Seven Gates of Hell, Witching Hour. Avenger, Revenge Attack, Under the Hammer, Run for Your Life. You know, besides Venom, like the band that, you know, I probably, if you excluded Venom off of this, probably out of the other bands that I'd like the most, it would be Avenger. Because, you know, they are definitely, you know, true to the heavy metal spirit, at least in my opinion. Warfare. I think it was uh, one of the early attempts at you know speed speed metal thrash metal power thrash. I mean they probably sound tame now, but you know for for that era they were still a really extreme metal band, and I don't think they really had much success outside the UK. But uh, yeah, they, you think this is all about Venom, but you know it's really like you know the. The uh, Neat Records promo video. So, not Meat Records, Neat Records. N E N E A T. So, you know, if you want, you know, to look up history on, you know, the new wave of British heavy metal, you know, type Neat Records on the search engine on, you know, maybe on YouTube or Facebook. <laughs> but, um,. Again, you know, these guys are definitely a big part of uh, metal history. Whether you love them or hate them, you know, I remember when I was a kid, a lot of people just thought Venom sounded just bloody awful. And uh, but you know, they are are uh, the forefathers of extreme metal. Whether you like it or not. All right, take care. Peace out.
black metal. 